What's up guys? Just left out of Second and Charles once again. They called me down here, my buddy Eddie did. And they had Final Fantasy here. $17.95 with teacher discount. Knocked some money off that. And it even has the manual for it with the maps. So excited about this guys. I finally have Final Fantasy. Finally. Yeah. But that's not even the best part. He gave me some cases, and there's a surprise in one of them that we will show in the game room. Yeah, see those? Yeah, that's a surprise. What's up guys? Just left the way and pay goodwill. First stop today. Decided to go on a Wednesday and uh, looks like it's paid off. The reason I went on a Wednesday, I was trying to beat that guy that uh, caught me slipping last week. Or actually two weeks ago. And uh, well, I caught him sleeping. Haha. <laughs> Later. What's up guys, welcome to the game room. 
Uh, definitely some solid finds this week, so let's go ahead and get started. First up, Friday. Uh, I got off from work and I got texted by my buddy Eddie that works over at Second and Charles. And uh, he said that they had some Nintendo games in stock. Uh, one of the Nintendo games definitely interested me though because I've been on the lookout for this game for a very long time and have yet to run across it. But finally, finally, aptly called, able to get it. And that is Final Fantasy for the Nintendo Entertainment System. Very clean label on that one. Very clean pens. I haven't tested it out yet, but uh, popped it in yet, but uh, I have no doubt that this will work. Um, and I mean, it was about the going rate for I guess Final Fantasy for a loose cart um, copy, but it wasn't just loose. It came with the manual. Uh, very thick manual. I think it's like 80 some pages of stuff in this thing. And even better, um, inside here are the two maps that come with it. Or maps and then descriptions of like the armor and spells and whatnot. I would open it for you, but uh, just it would, they're very fragile and frail and I don't want to rip it on screen. Uh, very cool. Um, so I was able to add that to the collection. And uh, with a teacher discount, I got it for $14.36, which I think is a good, solid deal for these. So, very cool. He also had these Nintendo cases uh, for my loose games here. So, very cool. Um, got about six blue ones, and one yellow one, and a red one. So, um, as you can see, a fire and ice is in a blue one there. So, pretty cool. Glad to get those. I can, I'll, I'll take those anytime. I think these also hold like 64 games also so anyway you try that out all right and then um, some manuals uh, that he had there and uh, yeah um, a couple of these I have already but most of these I don't and then a couple of these I don't even have the game to yet and I'll show you those first first up snake rattle and roll don't have this one yet um, Eddie says that he's played this one. He says it's a really fun game, so I'll have to check that one out. Balloon Fight. Uh, there you go. Bionic Commando. Alright, the next ones, though, I do have. Um, but I uh, do not have the manual suit, which is awesome. To finally get the manuals to these games. Uh, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest. Wizards and Warriors 2. Uh, Iron Sword. Mr. Fabio on the front. We have Excite Bike. Well, these are a little worse for wear, but not bad. Um, they're, they're there, so I'm glad that they exist. We have Tiny Toon Adventures. Amazing uh, game if you've never played it on the NES. I might have said that in my NES collection video, but I can't stress it enough. This was a really fun game. A really hard game. Uh, Blaster Master. These two I do already have the manuals too, but uh, so I have these as duplicate copies. But got uh, Super Mario Bros. Two and Super Mario Bros. Three, and then the last one though was the one he put put in the photograph, and I could not believe my eyes. Um, very happy to get this one. I think the manual itself, you know, is worth probably 15, 20 bucks or something. So we got the manual to Mega Man Six. And this one is a very clean copy. I mean, it has a little bit of a bulge right there at the back there, but aside from that, it's really nice and crisp. And all these manuals uh, were free, so can't beat the price. Oh, and the cases too. The cases and the and the manuals were free, so that was amazing. So again, thank you, Eddie, for that. That was such an amazing um, uh, 
gift there. So on Monday, I picked up uh, these games. Uh, most of them I have already, so I'll be just uh, flipping them. <clears throat> so we got uh, Zumba Rush. And the reason I got this and a couple others are uh, they had uh, like a percentage off or something like things were half off, at least for DVDs. So I was hoping games would be too, but uh, they weren't, but you know, they were cheap enough. Now that one's at 425 for some reason, but um, she's like, oh, let me correct that, so it was 225 like the rest. Anyway, doesn't sell for a whole lot, like it's like seven bucks or something. So anyway, that'll be for flip. Um, this one I found on the PS3, um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this one, but uh, we got Terminator Salvation for the Xbox 360. For two bucks, um, the case is just jacked up. Not sure what happened to that, but anyway, no manual, so. Game looks good, though. Alright, so this one is for Flip also. Um, have this on the PS2, I believe. No, maybe it's for Xbox. I have it on one of the consoles, but I uh, don't need it for PC, but. Um, only problem with this, this is, looks like a PAL edition one, so hopefully I'll still be able to sell it, but. Um, yeah. Uh, Sniper Elite. There you go, for the uh, PC. This one I have already, but I'm not sure if I have the manual or not. So if I don't have the manual, I will be borrowing that. But we picked up Mafia for PlayStation 2, which is, of course, complete. Again, $2.25. And this one will be the best recouper if, I can, if it plays. Um, I still probably go ahead and get the disc resurface, even if it does play, because uh, I don't want it to look awful. And I'll put it in another case because the case is again kind of messed up here. But got Crash of the Titans, um, so that's worth a few bucks. Anyway, so there you go. That's complete though. And a few bucks, not bad. And then the final one I definitely am keeping. Um, to add to the PS2 collection, Don't, not sure how it plays or anything, but uh, yeah, well, it's Power Rangers uh, Super Legends 15th Anniversary, yeah, 15th Anniversary. So, it looks like it has the old school Power Rangers in it, so, I don't know how good it is, but, you know, I'm still a bit nostalgic for that. There goes the game, but anyway, uh, it's complete, so, yeah. I'll have to see how, how that plays. Wednesday. So, a couple weeks ago, that one guy that comes in there on, on the, uh, at the Way and Pay Goodwill, I know he's going to show up because he's there every time. And uh, he caught me slipping on a couple of Nintendo 64 games last week, which didn't end up being that much of a big deal. But anyway, um, I still scored later on. But um, I decided to go ahead in a day early, and uh, that might have helped me get this. Um, there were some loose GameCube games in there. I will be looking for a box and manual for it, but for $14.99, got a loose copy of Mario Party 4. Yeah, it's a little uh, scratchy on the back there, but hopefully it'll play. But yeah, if any of you guys run across a box and manual for Mario Party 4, please let me know. Uh, we can do a trade. Um, so that would help me complete the uh, GameCube set for the Mario Parties, which is awesome. The rest of the day, I didn't find much of anything in the way of video games, but I did find 
one more video game related item, and that was a puzzle, a uh, Yoshi puzzle that I found for $1.58 at uh, Children's Hospital Thrift Store. Uh, it looks complete, I can't tell though, I individually count all 200 pieces, but pretty cool. And then uh, the best pickup at that store um, was a complete in the box uh, Star Wars Episode 1. Uh, collector's edition uh, 3D Monopoly board, which was really cool, and uh, so it's all Star Wars Episode One related. It even has Jar Jar Binks, everybody's b beloved character from Episode One. It has uh, Sebulba and Darth Sidious, uh, Qui Gon Jinn, and uh, even has Darth Maul there. So a lot of people, I'm sure, will want to be playing with as Darth Maul. Uh, but yeah, very cool. It looks complete as far as I can count. So uh, yeah, awesome. All right, then yeah, I came in Wednesday, and uh, I wish I had come in Tuesday because at the Curly's thrift store they had uh, apparently a Super Nintendo that had come in there with about a hundred games, and yeah, missed out on that. Looks like they've been, apparently they took it to eBay or something like that and probably made big bucks off those games or will soon. But, you know, sometimes that happens. Uh, sometimes you score, sometimes you don't. But um, at the previous Goodwill, I was pretty satisfied with the uh, big box PC games I ran across. Um, I don't know if I'll ever be able to play them or not. They were all uh, 4 25 a piece, but they were all green stickers, so that was half off this week. And I just got it really because uh, they just looked really interesting. Um, but we picked up uh, Lightbringer. Apparently this is for Windows 95, 98. But anyway, uh, don't really know too much about this game. Um, haven't really do, done much research on it, but yes. Uh, apparently it has 70 hours of, over 70 hours of non-linear gameplay. But uh... Yeah, just kind of picked it up for just because it looked pretty interesting. This one was actually the first one that I spotted that I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get um, past. I'm like, you know, it just looks so interesting. And apparently I actually got uh, some pretty good reviews. And it's a pretty, very complex game for its time, especially. But uh, Alien Logic. Uh, apparently you're doing a bit of everything within this, like fighting and um, almost like RPG, adventure, action, all kinds of things. Puzzle solving, uh, there's some um, screenshots of the game on the back, but uh, yeah, um, like I said, pretty good reviews on this one, so if I ever can get this to play on something, um, I'll definitely try it out. Sorry for my phone that keeps going off in there, uh, yeah. I've been communicating with some buddies, other YouTuber buddies in there. Uh, Alright, this one I do know a lot about because I played it with a friend of mine. Now, I don't remember, I guess, and we must have played it on the three and a half inch floppy disk, if you guys remember what those are. Um, some of you kids probably don't know what those are, but anyway, um, yeah, got X-Wing for, uh, well, yeah, on three, the three and a half inch floppy, I guess, the DOS. Anyway, so there you go. Um, yeah, it had the manual in there and the disc. Three and a half inch floppy disc. It's like five discs in it. It's like a boot disc or something that they made. Um, and then some uh, additional stuff in there. So that was cool. And then this one actually has the most value of all of them. And, um, Actually, Metal Jesus Rocks actually reviewed this game, and uh, I think it's about like a $20, $30 game as it sits now, but I just picked it up because I'm a fan of the movie, and uh, maybe one day I'll be able to play the, I'm a fan of the company that made this too, the same creators that uh, made Command & Conquer, Westwood Studios, but uh, that game is uh, Blade Runner, um, and apparently it's a pretty good game, um, pretty well reviewed, uh, but um, yeah, apparently it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, the movie. I know one of the down points with that uh, Metal Jesus was talking about with this was that 
sometimes it wasn't clear cut what to do next and sometimes he had to reload the game over and over again to be able to meet the person that was supposed to be in a specific spot because it wouldn't always happen so um, but that aside I think it would still get me you know, really good reviews so and I picked up all those uh, for nine bucks oh and the board games for four bucks um, I'll the D8 and then I round a change up alright and then what else did I get alright so I guess we're up to today uh, alright so one of the games like I went back for uh, that I saw at Second and Charles previously I wanted to go back and get because I watched a review video on it and uh, just um, looked really interesting and that game is for the PlayStation 2 it's called the Red Star Think about this game apparently like there's like uh, almost like it takes a uh, perspective of uh, I guess uh, horizontal and you're just like battling enemies shooting enemies or melee attacking the enemies and then uh, they have uh, shoot 'em up sequences with the bosses and everything very interesting game here's a picture of the back but uh, yeah um, Apparently these two characters too. She's the most agile character, uh, maneuvers the best, um, but I guess takes the least damage. While this guy takes the most damage, moves slow, more slowly, and then she's I guess a kind of a mix of both. But anyway, uh, very cool and it's complete. Um, it's about worth about uh, the price that's on it, eleven ninety five. But I managed to nab it for nine dollars fifty six cents. So. Not bad. I, I, it looks really fun. I can't wait to play it. Alright, then re two really cool games here. Um, it's hard to choose which one would be the power play of the week. But, uh, so I'll just probably just go with both here. But, um, yeah. Uh, first one that up is what grabbed my attention first. Um, again, my buddy over there at Second and Charles texted me and said he had this box com or this game complete in the box, and for the low, low price of thirty-one dollars and fifty cents, which I thought was a really, really good deal because it's worth about sixty-five on price charting currently. So, and that game is Star Fox sixty-four. Everybody stay alert! Pretty smooth flying, Fox. You annoying little fly. My Emperor! I failed you! We're heading out. All aircraft report. Another box Nintendo 64 game for me. I've been scoring a few of those here the last uh, couple weeks, which is awesome because I've been wanting to find some box N64 stuff, but it just like never, or it rarely happens. So we'll go ahead and open it up. Uh, first up here, 
we have the manual, Star Fox, there you go, and then we have the cardboard insert, which houses the first party rumble pack, very cool, as well as the game there. Um, but yeah, so, very cool. And then I never realized how thick this box was, too. The cardboard on this is a lot thicker, more durable than, um, the, the other N64, the regular N64 boxes, which is good. So, the box is in excellent shape. And, uh, yeah, he has, he shrink-wrapped it, um, to kind of just keep it all nice and together. But, as you can see, the box looks... Excellent. Uh, like I don't see any flaws in the box, so it's like a very awesome box. I'll have to try to get some like box protectors or something. I know this one's not easy to find a box protector. Box, 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 box. Yeah. Chore, so. That may be a chore. And then the next one, when I was picking this one up, um, I looked in the showcase and I saw this one staring back at the fit me in the face. And I just did not, not resist. I asked uh, Eddie if uh, this game was complete with the manual. And he said it was. And I was like, oh my gosh. So if you just saw the green there, it is an original Xbox game. And it is not an easy one to acquire. Um, so, uh, after the teacher discount for Star Fox, we picked this one up for not $31.50, but we picked it up for $25.20. Twenty and the next game, though, we'll just go ahead and show it. Call of Cthulhu, uh, Dark Corners of the Earth. Robert, this had better be good. What's the beef? Sorry, Jack. We had to call. This fellow will only talk to you. Name's Victor Holt. Don't know any Victor. He's the leader of this weird cult that moved in here a few months back. It appears to be a private study area. It looks like an eye, but the rest of the painting has no real shape. way to play this one. I watched Mr. Tight White's video last year of him playing this game and it looks really dark and eerie and creepy and um, looks like something I really want to check out. Uh, and it's made by uh, Bethesda. The same people behind Fallout and the Elder Scrolls franchise and everything. But yeah, not a common game. It, picked, you know, it had a price of about $32.95. It's about a $40 game or so, um, but it's just uh, not a common game to run across, and uh, seeing as how I picked up Steel Battalion and uh, Phantom Dust and some other uh, not so easy to acquire Xbox games the other day, um, it just seemed right to pick this one up, because who knows when I'll run, run across this game again. But uh, once I did the teacher discount, it made me feel a little bit better, because I got this for $26.36, so not a bad buy on that either. So, those are my pickups for this week. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you later.